history of the development of a successful treatment for cancer and other virus, bacteria and fungi. History of the development of a successful treatment for cancer and other virus, bacteria and fungi. History of the development of a successful treatment for cancer and other virus, bacteria and fungi. History of the development of a successful treatment for cancer and other virus, bacteria and fungi. Report no. Death minus 1042. Date. December 1, 1953. Research laboratory data, copyright 1953, Allied Industries. Written by Dr. R. R. Jeff Crane, Manager, Director of Research. Chief Electronic Engineer One Introduction Two General Discussion of Virus Observation Three Method of Cultural and Technique of Isolation Dot of the Quasar Virus of Cancer Four, tumor CLSSIFICATION, histological. Five, the process used to produce the cancer virus for Tom Hygrograph. Six, chemical relativity to CNRCINOMA coordinate of constituents and cancer virus characteristics. Seven. Research summary of bacteria and virus characteristics. Eight. The successful treatment of cancer and other virus and bacteria and fungi, which are listed in No. Seven of this index. Eight point one. The technique of BX inoculation. Eight point two. The treatment of BX or cancer. Eight point three. The determination and diagnosis of cancer. 8.4. Research on Bacillus X cancer virus and methods and technique of evaluation. 8.5. The life cycle and treatment of tuberculosis. One. Introduction. Before my discovery of the cause of cancer and other diseases, I had sought to find such evidence with standard research microscopes. I observed all types of malignant tissue to find some trace of the cause. I felt that the start of malignancy would be originated by some type of microorganism. It became obvious that in order to find that cause, better means of observation had to be developed. Thus five microscopes were designed and built in the laboratory with a range of 5,000 to 50,000 X, working in magnifications of 17,000 X and had revealed new cells in microorganisms requiring much skill and patience to focus and photograph. After the isolation of filtered virus and other pathogenic organisms, the idea was conceived that it would be possible to create an electronic frequency that was in the correct coordination or resonance BF the chemical constituents of a given organism or virus, and to devitalize with said frequency the organism or virus in question. The 
initial frequency instrument of this nature was first used and developed in the laboratory in 1920. Due to the great advancement in the field of electronics, these frequency instruments have steadily improved to the present day. The isolation of cancer virus and other microorganisms was an accomplishment with which I felt a great deal of pride. Finally in 1931, I discovered the transformation of the cancer virus and the successful treatment for cancer and other diseases by actual observation of the universal microscope while applying the frequency instrument. Thus, this data is presented for evaluation. With the frequency instrument treatment, no tissue is destroyed, no pain is felt, no noise is audible, and no sensation is noticed. A tube lights up and three minutes later the treatment is completed. the virus or bacteria is destroyed and the body then recovers itself naturally from the toxic effect of the virus and or bacteria. Several disease forms may be treated simultaneously. Two, general discussion of virus observation. A major portion of the cancer tests of the tumors used in the initial tests were procured from the Paradise Valley Sanatorium in National City, California. The pathology of these tumors was checked through their laboratory as malignant. One reason that viruses have never been observed in their true form of their association with a disease is because the best standard research microscopes will not show them. First, on account of the lack of great enough magnification and second, going to the minuteness of these particles, it is impossible to stain them with any known method or technique using acid or aniline dye stains hence a substitute stain was found. Viruses were stained with a frequency of light that coordinates with the chemical constituents of the particle or microorganism under observation. The variation of the light frequency is accomplished by use of a variable monochromatic beam of light that is tuned to coordinate with the chemical constituents of particle, virus, or microorganism. Visibility of the particle, virus, or microorganism is observed by use of the core beams from the patented Rife microscope lamps, which provide illumination through a series of rotating quartz prisms in the universal microscope and thence through the slide containing the specimens and onto the eyepiece. Rotation of the light beams in the quartz prisms controls the increase or decrease of the light frequency. With complete control of the illuminating unit, a frequency is created that is in coordination with the chemical constituents of the virus under observation, and thus it is possible to observe the virus in its true chemical refractive index. The control of the illumination in the universal microscope and the other right research microscopes is the most important factor in visualizing the virus of any pathogenic microorganism. This cannot be accomplished by any conventional source or illumination. This points out why other research groups have failed to find cancer virus. We believe and are proven to our satisfaction that the so-called virus is in reality the premodal cell of a microorganism. We also have proven that it is the chemical constituents and chemical radicals of the virus under observation which
enact upon the unbalanced cell metabolism of the body to produce any disease that may occur. We have in many instances produced all the symptoms of the disease chemically without the inoculation of any virus or bacteria in the tissues of experimental animals. Page 3 We have classified the entire category of pathogenic bacteria into 10 individual groups. Any organism within its group can be readily changed to any other organism within the 10 groups depending upon the media with which it is fed and grown. For example, with a pure culture of Bedgillus coli, by altering the media as little as 2 parts per million by volume, we can change that micro-organism in 36 hours to a Bedgillus tifus as showing every known laboratory test even to TVI down retraction. Further controlled operations of the media will end up with the virus of poliomyelitis or tuberculosis or cancer as desired, and then, if you please, alter t media again and change the micro-organism back to a bacillus coli. Three. Methods of cultural technique of bacillus, LTION of the virus of C. Ulcerated breast mass that was checked for malignancy by their laboratory and ourselves came to our laboratory from the Paradise Valley Sanitarium of National City, California. The experiments of 1931 and 1932 were conducted in our Point Loma Laboratory, then known as the Wright Research Laboratory. Millimeters blocks of this tumor in 1932 were placed in K-media at infant and at 37.5 degrees Celsius with no results. After many long procedures and attempts to grow the cancer virus had failed, the discovery of the growth method of cancer virus was found. A test tube containing a sample from the unulcerated breast mass was sealed and placed in an argon gas filled loop with 15 mm vacuum and activated with 5000 volts. This produced a decided change of ionized cloudiness in the media, 